linear equations. Equations with degree 1 are called linear equations and their graph is always a straight line. In order to solve linear equations, let's play a game. In this game, the rules are that you're going to keep your finger on the mouse so that after every step, you can stop the video and figure out what the step says and when you are ready then you will go to the next step until you get to the last step in this game and then we will go ahead and find out what the answer is. So the step one you can think of a number below 10. Ready? Okay number two now whatever number you have thought you can double that number. Done? Okay, once you have doubled the number, whatever results you have got, you can add 6 to that number. Okay, ready? Okay, now let's go to the next step. So you, in the first two steps, you thought of a number, you doubled the number, and then you added 6 to that doubled result and now you are going to take half of that number whatever result was got it all right let's go to the next step then now take away the number which originally you thought ready so in step 5 we are going to subtract the number you originally thought from the result you want me to tell you uh, tell you answer? Okay. The answer is 3. Isn't that right? Wow. Well, do you want to know how I got that number? Here is how I figured out what number originally you thought. Let's say that you thought of an unknown number x. We know that this x is less than 10. But I don't know, so I just assumed that this number, let me call it x. Then you doubled it. So this is step two. So in step two, you doubled the number. So this was step one. And now after you doubled the number, you went to step three and you added whatever the result you had, like 2x and then add 6. So this is step 3. And then I said take half of the result. So 2x plus 6 was in fact divided by 2 and you cancelled 2 which is with x and 6 divided by 2 that left you with x plus 3. So this was step 3. Step and this is now step four. And when I said subtract the number, you took away the x from it. What is left? That's three. Isn't that great? So this is step five. And you can do this trick with anyone you like. And you will always have three as the answer. But this is a good starting point. Repeat these steps and let's do linear equation solutions by following the footprints we have just learned. Here we are going to solve this question here. This question says that, uh, let's make it a little bigger here. And uh, okay, three times the number is 4.8. What was the number? So in the step one, we are going to build a one square or rectangle so that step one is that you are thinking of a number. You thought of a number, whatever number you thought, you keep it as x. Okay, and then I said three times a number. So we are going to make one more rectangle here and say that three times a number. So 
you got x and now you timed it with 3 3 time, times 3 so you got 3x but what is inverse operation of 3 like what is opposite of 3 if you are multiplying with 3 the inverse operation of 3 is dividing it with 3 so if you want to reverse the operation then this would be like dividing with 3 okay 3 times the number is 4.8 okay so 3 times the number like when the number was given 3x what is it equal to it's given that this is equal to 3 uh, 4.8 sorry 4.8 now when we divide 4.8 with this reverse operation we should get the number whatever the number was so 4.8 divided by so our number x should be equal to 4.8 divided by 3 and how we divide a fraction or a decimal with 3 that's uh, how we can we can use long division but uh, that's let's do it without 4.8 divided by if you take away this decimal that will give you 10 in the denominator and 1 over 3 is already here so this is um, 48 over 3 time 1 over 3 that oh sorry 10 this is equal to 3 16 times is 16 times 1 over 10 that is 1.6 again we can directly do, do this but this is how we can reach to the answer if you want to do another question here we can do another question so let's do this example here that solve equation four point five D minus three point two is equal to minus 18.5 so let's get started here think of a number and here think of that number is now named as D so here is the number which is D and let's go to the next step and here what we have done here we have to multiply it with 4.5 so time it with 4.5 and what is the reverse operation of this the reverse operation is dividing it with 4.5 and then there is one more step here that's that step is then we have we subtracted 3.2 from it so if this was d then in this step it became 4.5 d and from this step onward we subtracted 4.5 d minus 3.2 and what would be the this is like take away 3.2 but what would be the inverse of this that would be plus 3.2 and what is the number we have 4.5 d minus 3.2 is equal to minus 18.5 so let's do these reverse operation to minus 18.5 so it's minus 18.5 and here we have we are going to add plus 3.2 you know that both signs 
are opposite therefore there is going to be subtraction so 5 take away 2 will be 3.8 take away 3 will be 5 and 1 and the answer will carry the sign of the bigger number the bigger number is 18.5 therefore the answer would be minus 18 and then what we have here at this stage we will have minus 15.3 and now what we are going to do we are going to divide minus 15.3 divided by 4.5 and we will get the required number and what that number would be the number would be minus here the answer would be equal to minus 3.4 so this is equal to minus 3.4